I was a big dreamer, you know, and so uh, my job was to clean these seven floors between Friday and Sunday. So every time I would go to the, the seventh floor was the CEO's office. So I would bust in like I was the CEO. I'm dreaming like I'm the CEO now. And who would have ever thought I've been blessed? And here I am, I am the CEO of my own company. Well, I think that the, the number one thing is you have to have a very clear vision, a very clear goal of where you want to go. Because only then you will get there. Uh, you can have the best airplane or the best ship in the world, but if the captain doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around. If the pilot does not know where to go, he will just drift around with his plane. So it's, I think the key thing is that we know where we are going and that you're very passionate about that. And you see it always in front of you, the goal. To thrive in whatever you do, please understand your terrain. Know what your target is. Don't guess it. Be as clued up as the next man because that's 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 your petrol that's your, your 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 fuel to get you moving if you don't know where you're going what your targets are you're never going to get there period and the other thing that's important is, is that you got to shoot for the top you got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big then you're going to go and achieve big things that is the most important thing you know we don't achieve big things by accident to tell each and every one of you that it doesn't matter how how old you are how young you are your age you can achieve anything that you set your mind to and I always say if I can do it anyone can do it um, if you think that you're gonna go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world and you think you can do it without working you make a big mistake because no matter what I did if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it is in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out and you got to, you know, something to make a lot of sacrifices and all this. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. I, I, I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. If, if we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any, anything else, if you are obsessed, t uh, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry. And, and to see LeBron James, who's like a mega uh, superstar over here and a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, share um, that belief is, is inspiring right back to me. It, it shows that we are thinking correct. You know, this is, this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can beat hard work. This here is the reality? Do you mean that the competition is not the reality? Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> behind the scenes is where the work is done. And everything is done to, to get to that one race that you need to run. I always questioned myself in the best of times, uh, even when I was world number one for many, many weeks and months in a row. At certain times during the year I said, what can I improve? What do I need to change? Because if you don't do anything or you just do the same thing over and over again, you stay the same. And staying the same means going backwards because the other guys are working hard and improving. So I always needed to find ways to improve my game as well. What have been one or two of your biggest business or life challenges and how did you get through them? Well, the first one was obviously starting Paul Mitchell with $700 and living for the second time in my car because our back had pulled out. That was extremely difficult. How do you start a company, balance your bills not going to be paid, knock door to door selling your products? Extremely difficult. I was going to become world class at whatever I did in my life. Hmm. Not good at it, not pretty good at it, but world class at it. And when you say what drives me, that's what drives me to this day. 
I feel so strongly that the reason I'm here is I dream big dreams. I dream the kind of dreams that other people said would not be possible. I'm also living proof. This isn't a Hollywood movie. I come literally from the other side of the tracks. If you saw where I grew up and we took a picture of it, the neighborhood, the setting, you'd say it's not, it's impossible that someone could come from there and get here. But it is possible. What I had to do is I had to start taking some of my own advice. I have been telling people I had written about it for a very long time, that if you're doing something that you're not totally committed to, if you're doing something that you're not totally passionate about, you're compromising yourself every day. You know, I grew up, I wasn't the richest, um, but I had a rich family and, and spirit and, 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 and support. And, um, you know, standing here <laughs> with 19 championships is something I never thought would happen, you know. Just, I went on the courts with just a ball and a racket and a hope, and, and that's all I had. And I, it's inspiring for all you guys out there that want to do something and want to be the best that you can be and want to do the best that you can do. You just never give up because you never know what can happen. You never know who you can inspire and um, who you can influence. But don't let people get you down. Yeah, what do they know? My God, what the heck do they know? No, you can never enter beauty industry. Too much competition, no money. Tequila, are you kidding? A $37 bottle? You buy tequila for four bucks. Go with your own gut feeling. We're in a time where the people that really, really work hard and really, really believe in themselves and really, really don't give up on their dreams, no matter how many times they fall down, are the ones that's going to be successful. What are the practical steps that we can do if, we, if I want to start changing my life right now? You got to have a plan. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And your plan has got to have something I call the C5 complex. Your plan has got to be clear, concise, compelling, consistent, and committed. You've got to have a plan. And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. So how do you start a business with no money under the worst conditions that your backer doesn't want to give you a dime? What do you do? Get ready for a lot of rejection and at the same exact time, do the things others don't want to do. Do what's necessary, do what it takes, no matter what it is, and try not to hurt anybody along the way. If you wanna make the team, go to the gym. If you wanna own the team, go to the library. If things don't go right for you, you gotta keep on doing it until it goes right. If 50 doors are slammed in your face, you have to be just as enthusiastic on door number 51 as you are the first 50 doors and happy and excited. That's the big difference. You can't give up. You've got to always be there. Do the things unsuccessful people don't want to do. If something's wrong, change it. It's a scary thing to make that decision. This is what I want to do. But the sooner you make that decision, um, I think the better it'll be for your life. So if you happen to be one of those people who's standing on the sidelines of your dreams waiting for that perfect moment, if you want to make that change but you just don't know if you're ready, this life lesson is for you. It's time to stop digging your potatoes and jump. I think sometimes the difference between success and failure, winning and losing, is a very fine line between those people who continue to move forward. I very often watch a lot of young people sort of meander around without any idea about why they're doing what they're doing. I mean, to want and to be ambitious and to want to be successful is not enough. That's just desire. To know what you want, to understand why you're doing it, to dedicate every breath in your body to achieve if you feel you have something to give if you feel that your particular talent is worth developing is worth caring for then there's nothing you can't achieve do something you're very passionate about 
People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, and you don't really love it, uh, you're going to give up. So how do you start a business with no money under the worst conditions that your backer doesn't want to give you a dime? What do you do? Get ready for a lot of rejection and at the same exact time, do the things others don't want to do. Do what's necessary, do what it takes, no matter what it is, and try not to hurt anybody along the way. I work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I cared, that's what I cared about. I cared about solving problems, being successful. Anytime an obstacle presented itself, I used it to my advantage, made it work. And I never heard the word no. If I heard the word no, it meant maybe. Then I made maybe yes. Take what you've got, your assets are your energy. Your assets are your willingness to just not be told no. The harder it is, the tougher it is, the bigger the challenge to get in, the bigger the opportunity behind. Uh, the opportunities behind are endless. I really, really believe in getting rich. I believe in people creating wealth for themselves. Develop the habits. You've got the brain power, you've got the energy, but develop the habits of success. If you know exactly what you want to be, you need to spend as much time with people that are actually that already. We become our standards in many ways. If you are surrounded by B players or average performers, and that is your standard, then your mindset will operate at the standard that is, that is offered to you by the people around you. I mean, we do become our social orbit. Don't allow anyone, friend, family, acquaintance, teachers, whoever it is, don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming for yourself and your family is not possible. It is possible. Don't be one of those people 20 years from now are going to be walking around in a 9 to 5 job miserable and angry and bitter. What fear is stopping you in your tracks and burning the soles of your feet? What if conquering that fear, whatever it is, that keeps you from being what the Creator intended for you? What if you could unleash everything great in your life? Would you do it? Would you say yes to that? You will receive from the world who you become. But the doorway to success, I suggest to you, swings inward, not outward. And the best way to have a game-changing life, and the best way to have a world-class lifestyle, and the best way to change the world is to change yourself. I mean, we get from life who we become. To have the results of a game changer, you need to start thinking and behaving like a game changer. And that means thinking like a game changer, populating your mindset with the best books, with the best ideas, with the best conversations, behaving in ways that most people don't behave. Again, you want to have the results very few people have, you've got to start doing things that very few people do. Turn off the television delete the naysayers, stop gossiping and start producing, eat better food, run longer runs, shift from a focus on what's not working to a focus on what's working. I mean, you really want to install a whole new series of mindsets and a whole new series of rituals that very few people are doing. In the end, uh, luck plays a very important part in how successful you are, but the harder you work and the longer you work, the luckier you're gonna be. I've always thought that each person invented himself for whatever reasons, through whatever circumstance, through whatever he has gone through, that we are each a figment of our own imagination. I am the only problem I will ever have. And I am the only solution 
I am the only problem I will ever have, and I am the solution. Well, I mean, <laughs> positively and negative. I mean, you attract. No, I, you know, not just what you fear. You attract what you feel, what you are, what you attract. Yeah, what's on your mind. Yeah, what's on your mind. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like exactly. the law of physics. I don't know how anybody can disagree with that. It's, it's just, it, ask any physicist, they'll tell you that, yeah, that yeah. it's true. I become what I think about all day long. And once you know that what you think about is what expands, you start getting real careful about what you think about. You don't allow your thoughts to be on anything that you don't want or that you wouldn't want to have manifest or show up for you in your life. You know, I believe in the law of attraction and I believe that, um, that you can speak things into existence and I believe that um, once you, when you know where you're going and you know what you want, uh, the universe has a way of stepping aside for you. You have to understand, you are a man. It's our intention. Our intention is everything. Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without intention. Einstein's most famous quote, he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. Logic will get you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere. I think my imagination has always kept me going, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, just imagine myself collecting awards, just imagine myself, you know what I mean, getting big parts, imagine myself working with the greatest actors. Everybody can imagine themselves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what, actually, yeah, I could see myself, you know, being an influencer in clothes, you know what I mean? Because I can make that happen, I can make that happen. You gotta understand something about like attracts like. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. You are a magnet. Whatever you are, that's what you draw to you. If you're negative, you're gonna draw negativity. You're positive, you draw positive. You're a kind person, more people are kind to you. This is the law of attraction, I and mean, you have to, in the struggle, you know, when, when things are going good and you visualize these good things happening, you visualize more good things happening, that's easy. What's not easy to do is when things are going bad and you're visualizing the good stuff. That's what freezes people. When you're trying to figure out your life all the way to the end, when you can't figure it out, it freezes you from trying it because you go, oh, well, I can't figure that out. Oh, I can't go over there because I don't know how. You don't have to know how. You have to ask, believe, and receive. Don't allow anybody else's opinions. Don't allow what it says on the internet. Don't allow the research. Don't allow what anybody out there tells you is possible or not possible for you. There are many ways to get the things that we want for ourselves in our lives. But basically, it all begins with how we choose to think. I visualized, I'm sitting here on the steering wheel visualizing a brand new car, and visualizing good things in, in, in times of struggle. And that, that, when you can do that, I think that really makes the, 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 that law of attraction work. I think it really attracts to you more. Let's imagine for a few moments what our life would be like if we could access, let's say, 20% of our brain's capacity. If you want to have something show up in your life, the kind of person you would like to become, manifest something new into your life, something powerful, whatever it might be, you obviously must first be able to imagine it. Your imagination is able to do all that you ask in proportion to the degree of your attention. So what kind of attention do you place on your desires?
Einstein's most famous quote, one of his most famous observations. He said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. Logic will get you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere. Make your future dream a present fact by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. That which you feel yourself to be, you are. And you are given that which you are. So assume the feeling that would be yours were you already in possession of your wish. And your wish must be realized. So live in the feeling of being the one you want to be and that you shall be. If this assumption about what you would like to become is persisted in until it becomes your dominant feeling, the attainment of your ideal is absolutely inevitable. You must first assume the feeling of a wish fulfilled in all aspects of your life. Don't allow anybody else's opinions. Don't allow what it says on the internet. Don't allow the research. Don't allow what anybody out there tells you is possible or not possible for you. If you advance confidently in the direction of your own dreams and endeavor to live the life which you have imagined, you will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. It will chase after you if you can place into your imagination what it is that you would like to attract and begin to feel it. Start retraining your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind, it responds to what it is that you suggest to it. Your subconscious mind rules your life. 96 to 97 percent of everything that you do is done as a result of your subconscious mind. And when your subconscious mind gets programmed, it goes ahead and responds to whatever it is your conscious mind has placed into it. You are the creator. This is the mystery. This is the great secret known by the seers and prophets and mystics throughout the ages. This is the truth that you can never know intellectually. What is your wake up call? What is enslaving you? What is controlling your thoughts? Fear of failure can, can keep you from taking risk. And it can leave you just sitting there paralyzed into not taking any action at all. I want you to be terrified of sitting on your ass and doing nothing. That is what I want you to be afraid of. Of waking up in six days or six weeks or six years or 60 years. And being no closer to your goal. You've made no progress. That is the horror. That is the nightmare. That is what you need to be truly afraid of. And this is the thing you gotta remember. While you are resting, you are getting no closer to your target. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. What changes people is when you should 
becomes a must. And suddenly, the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Take the big dream and you break it down to its simplest form. What can I do today to make myself better? And once you break everything down into that and you do those things, that's when you have big time success. It's not about just chasing a massive dream. It's about what are you gonna do today to make your dream come true? Get up. Wake up. There's a bigger dream waiting for you, just waiting. For you to step into it, to step into it, your life is big. The only person that is going to move you toward that target is you. You have to keep moving toward it. You have to stay on the path. Get up and go. Take the risk, take the gamble, take the first step, take action. And don't let another day slip by. things that we have to do uh, as we're pursuing our dreams and our goals is that we have to know that failure is not an option. You know, I, and you got to hear this one. This, was an, this one is important uh, because you've got to tell yourself, despite, again, the circumstances, the situations, you have to tell yourself that, listen to me, I'm not going anywhere until I get the goal. Like until I make my dreams become a reality, I'm not quitting. I don't care how much money I have to invest. I don't care how much time I have to invest. I'm going to continue to do this until I become successful. What do you need to know that you don't know right now? What information, what books do you need to read? What mentors do you need? What circles do you need to hang around? Some of you are not where you want to be. You don't have what you want to have. You're not doing what you want to do because you've never been exposed to it before. And that's how my life changed. When I started hanging around millionaires, when I started hanging around successful business owners, when I started hanging around success, if you decide in any particular area that you're concerned about to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to read one book a month in that area, in five years you'll be among the top 5% experts in the world. Some of y'all want a promotion, right? Listen to me. You want a promotion, but listen to me close. I'm going to tell you what you got to do. So if you give me increased performance, hear me increased performance it's going to increase your pay I don't know if it's basketball if it's soccer I mean I don't know what it is if it's sales I'm not sure what you're doing law I, I don't know if your education I don't know what you're doing but if you teach and you're the same teacher this year than you were last year that's a problem and so I need increased performance because once you increase your performance everything else increases Whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, you're not gonna be able to make it happen if you don't have a dream party every day. Like you've gotta have a dream session. You've gotta take out 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, however much time you have, and you've gotta actually go in a room, close the door, and you've gotta see yourself doing it. You've gotta feel yourself doing it. You've gotta actually walk in it. You've gotta go in the future, live it out, come back in the present, and start working toward it. Before we can do the impossible, you got to do the impossible. That's right, I'm going to say it again. Before you can do the impossible, you got to do the possible. And when you look the word up, possible, what does it mean? What you're capable of doing or becoming. So, I don't need you to do small. That's the minimal. I need you to do every single day, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend. I need you to do what you're possible, what you're capable, what you're able to do. No excuses this year. Well, the secret the real happiness is progress. Progress equals happiness. And if we can make progress on a regular basis, we feel alive. And that's why at the beginning of the year, we get this thing like, okay, I can have this fresh start. 
I can really do what my soul desires. I can expand, I can grow, I can improve, I can change. Or maybe better than change, I can progress. I just need you to get started, right? I just need you to get that ball, because I talked about it. Once you can get that momentum going, once that momentum gets going, boom, there's no telling where you can go. If you quit, it's never gonna happen. If you quit, if you give up, if you stop, if you do not persevere, listen to me, you will never see it. And I tell people all the time, I didn't get here through academics. I got here because I refused to quit. It may not happen in six months, it may not happen in a year, it may not happen in two years, but at some point, my dream is going to become a reality.